Hi, in our uh, channel Molten Tech, Molten Tech uh, in playlist uh, genetic engineering. So we are discussing uh, uh, many techniques uh, about in uh, concerning PCR. So in that one of the topic uh, what we have discussed is uh, site directed mutagenesis. So in the site directed mutagenesis so what mainly what we are seeing is suppose uh, this is the codon. This is the codon. So in a site directed mutagenesis so we are actually uh, mutating single single nucleotides. Uh, some uh, work may involve uh, a large deletion from uh, maybe around uh, uh, 2 to 10 amino acids if you want to delete from the gene. So in that case what you can do is uh, you can amplify using a forward primer and reverse primer. You amplify the whole gene. You can amplify the whole gene, wild type, and you clone it into a plasmid vector. And you can clone it into a plasmid vector. So, so that you will have a large number of copies of the gene what you are looking into and suppose if you want to uh, so this one you can select uh, using ampicillin um, uh, antibiotic uh, like that and it is also will have a origin of replication so this is uh, you can make large number of copies in E. coli and suppose if you want to delete a stretch of uh, nucleotides um, encompassing um, amino acid. Suppose if you want to remove 1 to 10 amino acids from this region. So 1 to 10 amino acids region means 1 amino acid is uh, around uh, 3 nucleotide. So 10 amino acids means 3 into 10. Around 30 nucleotides you have to remove. And while removing 30 nucleotides you make sure that uh, your reading frame will be same. It is not changing, so that you have to consider. Reading frame you have to consider while uh, deciding it. So suppose if you want to remove uh, this uh, 10 uh, amino acids or 30 nucleotides from this construct, what you can do is, okay, what you can do is, you design a primer to this direction, okay? And uh, suppose this is the region you want to delete it, okay? You design one forward primer here and you design another primer here. So this is plus strand template and uh, this is minus strand template. So you design a primer like this and you can do a PCR. And when you are doing this PCR, you have to see that you are using a TAC polymerase which has a good fidelity and processivity because suppose if this gene is around uh, 1.5 uh, kilo base pairs and this plasmids will be generally 3 kb. So totally around 4.5 kb sizes will come. So it will be more than that also sometimes depending on the insert what you are using. So because of that to amplify this long fragment, we have to use a tag polymerase which has good processivity and fidelity. And you have to use a sufficient quantity of uh, DNDPs also because there is a large amount of uh, uh, DNDPs required to uh, synthesize this large fragment. So you do a PCR and when you do a PCR what you will get is a linear fragment.
you will get a linear fragment error. So this will be your uh, reverse primer region, what you have designed for minus trend. This will be your uh, forward primer region, where you have used for the plus trend. So you will get like this. Then what you do is uh, purify this PCR product. Okay, purify this PCR product. Then after uh, uh, purification, you have to do a uh, restriction digestion with uh, DPN1. You have to do a restriction digestion with DPN1. So when you do a restriction digestion with DPN1, what will happen is, whatever original template is what is present in this will be uh, digested. So this only the PCR product which are newly formed, which is unmethylated will be there. So when you uh, use it, you won't be getting any colonies from the original template what you have used, that is wild type. That is very important because otherwise you will get a mix of the colonies. Then what you do is after purification and DPN1 digestion, again this uh, after a DPN1 digestion, you can purify the PCR product. Purify the PCR product. Then this linear product you subject to ligation. Ligation. Make sure that uh, the, you have all 3 prime OH and 5 prime phosphate, everything suitable for ligation is present. So you do ligation. After ligation, this will get circularized. You transform into an E. coli. So transform into an E. coli. Then uh, next day you will get uh, colonies because this is having a vector backbone. Uh, origin of replication will be there and uh, selection marker will be there. So you will get colonies. And from these colonies you isolate plasmate and uh, uh, isolate this plasmate and uh, sequence it and confirm that uh, the desired deletion is introduced in the amplified fragment. So that is how you can uh, in a, uh, that is how you can delete a large stretch of uh, nucleotide from the cloned gene. And in some other situation what will happen is you have to do insertion. Okay, after deleting, either you can do insertion or within the wild type itself, you can do insertion. And when you do insertion also, make sure that you are you have considered the reading frames. So when you, uh, uh, when you are planned for an insertion, what is uh, the thing is, so like we have uh, the, uh, the construct, what we have discussed the last time. So this is the construct, okay, and this particular region, okay, and this particular region say it is uh, 20th uh, codon or after 20th codon, if you want to introduce a, a single amino acid or more than one amino acid of your consideration, if you want to introduce it, and when you are in introducing all these things, you should uh, definitely consider the reading frame. So after, so you can see uh, where you want to introduce it and what you can uh, decide is like last time in we had discussed about the primer, you design a primer with the overhang. So this is the forward primer and uh, this is the overhang where you want to introduce the extra amino acids. Okay, and here also you design a primer 
and this overhang will have the amino acid what you want to introduce and if you see this region this overhang and this overhang will be self complementary because this is the region you want to insert after 20th codon so here also like i said uh, last time you use a tag polymerase which has a good uh, processivity and fidelity also you use uh, sufficient amount of uh, dndps favorable for the amplification then what you will get is here also you will get a uh, linear product okay but uh, uh, it will be already annealed because this portion is already uh, self complementarity is there so because of that uh, even though the linear product is, is formed at the end of the pcr product a uh, pcr step what you get will be a annealed uh, pcr product which is having nix so in this piece of product you will be having a nick here you will be having a nick here because these are self complementary and there won't be any phosphodiester bond formed here or there won't be any phosphodiester bond here so you will get a nick to product like this so this nick to product also what you have to do is you do a dpn1 digestion to remove the original template again you do purification of the pcr product after that you do a ligation and transformation so when you do transformation you will get the colonies on the petri plate isolate the plasmid and sequence it and confirm that the extra nucleotide what you have planted in this uh, complementary region is introduced in the cloned gene so this is how you can introduce insertion into it so this insertion either you can do after a deletion of stretch of nucleotide or you can do uh, within the wild type itself so this is how you can introduce a a uh, large set of uh, uh, deletion or insertion and uh, if it is uh, very close by nucleotides then you have to do the site directed mutagenesis uh, like uh, what i have explained in the earlier video so if it is very close a stretch of uh, amino acids or stretch of nucleotides then this is the method uh, you can easily follow it but uh, here uh, you have to take care that you have you are you have the tag polymerase what you are using is having high fidelity and processivity and uh, you are using sufficient amount of dndps etc like that so this is how you can perform it i think uh, you have enjoyed this uh, concept so if you like uh, my channel please share our channel with your colleagues and also subscribe my channel uh like our channel also put comment in the comment box and also press the bell icon to receive notifications on new video what we are uploading so thank you very much for listening thank you